I take it too far all the time. If you know what I mean. Hold on, what's going on? Hold on. Don't look at the general. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah. yeah, 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 pause. Yeah. This is like. Yeah, hold on. This is T. Is she like trying to dump you right now? Oh my god, she is. Yeah. She's outside yeah. our house. Sniper Wolf may have literally just ended her career. They were friends. They were talking in the DM. So if you guys don't know, Sniper Wolf is basically public enemy number one right now when it comes to like just the internet in general based on what just happened last night. If you don't know who Sniper Wolf is, you guys can check out my other videos. I've made a dozen or two, I think like four altogether videos on Sniper Wolf, but she is the gamer who will quirky reacts to content, steals content, um, yeah, it's basically it. She's a girl, views evil, and recently, Jax Films, who is another large YouTuber, has been kind of in a little bit of a beef, a little bit of a conundrum with Sniperwolf, going after Sniperwolf for her stealing content, and just being an all, all around just kind of shit. And Sniperwolf has not been a fan of these videos, uh, not at all, because last night, she literally went on her Instagram, informed her nearly 6 million follower audience on that social media that, hey, should I go show up to Jack's film's house? He's about 5 minutes from my photo shoot. Shortly thereafter, shortly thereafter, she posted a picture outside, showing herself literally at Jack's film's house, in front of the house, posted the picture online, showed up to another YouTuber's house, basically throwing Threatening them, which guys, if you don't understand, is not okay in the slightest. It heavily breaks YouTube's terms of service, and they are not a fan of this whatsoever. Sniperwolf could literally have her entire channel banned, and I've seen comments on the last video I made called Sniperwolf is officially canceled, people commenting like, oh, she's not canceled, it's not over. Like, yeah, that video title might have been hyperbolic when I made that, but now, dude, oh my god, this should be the video called that, because bro, she is, she could be done. And that is an insane thing to think about, like, Sniperwolf is legitimately YouTube's golden child, always tweets out about the videos, I mean, she's basically sponsored by YouTube, and that could all be getting shortly taken away, because Sniper Wolf, the, the highest IQ individual of all time, was like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna show up to Jack's Film's house, record myself, and uh, threaten them on my Instagram, that, that's a great idea. And then, of course, in true Sniper Wolf fashion, her response was to play victim. And one of the ways she played victim was accusing Jack's Films of playing victim. That is like the biggest hyper- like what? So on this Instagram post, Sniperwolf took a screenshot of Jack's Films tweet where he says, Sniperwolf just doxed me on her Instagram, creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers at YouTube, demonetize this dangerous creator, or just get her off your platform. She posted an IG story right outside our house and deleted it. Then Sniperwolf responds here by saying, this creep has been harassing me for months then plays victim saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Okay, so she's just straight up lying. Also ironic, she claims that, oh yeah, it's not a big deal, I was just showing up to have a conversation, when she's made content in the past complaining about people showing up to her own house. But back on topic, she claims that, oh yeah, I wasn't threatening anyone, it was no ill intentions, but this was her Instagram post. Should I go Go visit at Jack's Films. He lives five minutes away from my shoot. You know, nothing creepy about that. Just like, oh yeah, I know. He, Jackson was five minutes away. Should I just go visit him? Should I go check him out? And then her next story is a picture outside his house that had to be censored. Okay, she did not censor this. We had to censor this. And then she says, let's talk like adults at Jack's Films. Yeah, that, that's not threatening at all. Like, what? Also, Jack's Films was on stream, and you can visibly tell in his reaction, it's the very first time he's being made aware of these visitation plans. I take it too far all the time. If you know what I mean. Hold on, hold on, stop. Hold on. Don't look at the general. Oh in shit. The yeah, yeah, hold on. Pause? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah, pause. This is like. Yeah, hold on. This is T. Is she like trying yeah, to dump you right now? I don't know, but that's that, really like, sketchy. Yeah, that's, that's not that's good. That's really sketchy. That's like that's extremely so like, sketchy. Nah, fuck that. How would she know where you live though? How the fuck does she know where we live? Leave me alone. Fuck. I'm sorry. Aww. She's she's in um, the house right now, Jack. <laughs> Shut up. She's literally outside your door. Wait, what? She's literally right outside your door. Oh my god. This is happening right the fucking fuck? now. That's... Call the fucking okay. police. Fucking sue Actually. her. Wait, what? Call like call the police. No, no there's a video. Joking. She's outside what your house story? right now. What the fuck? Holy sh she literally on, on posted a video on her story <gasps> five minutes ago. I'm reporting. Oh my god, she is she's outside her house. Fucking record that. this right now. She's fucking oh, doxing you. 
Yeah, that's the. Oh. Yeah, no, this is fuck. Fucker. Oh my god, that's horrible. No, that that is huge. Vi no, okay, it's not. Of privacy and so oh much god. else. There's so much wrong with that. No, I'm not getting out, dude. Fuck that. No, no not that. Stay inside, call, absolutely. Call, call the cops and show them the Instagram yeah. story. Hold on. I'm yeah. gonna go and outside. Aaron, no, no, Aaron, don't, 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 please don't. All right, hold on, should we, I'm gonna end this, um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah end the stream. Yeah. Sorry, gamers, um, thank you for coming out. That's a bit far. I truly think that this is psychopath behavior. So, in my opinion, if you don't live at someone's house, and you just go outside their house and saying, I just want to talk, you're showing up to their house, unprompted, which is very bizarre behavior but since sniper wolf is playing victim i'm pretty sure that youtube is just gonna take her word for it and be like oh it is what it is you know she has 30 million subs and makes a lot of money for us so you know fuck shit dude they're gonna keep sniper wolf on the platform but they need to get sniper wolf off the platform dude also i just found this piece of text on twitter that says while jack's films has been highly critical of sniper wolf what she is doing is illegal by california's penal code 653.2 so uh sniper wolf broke the law too i don't know what exactly broke the law i don't know if it was like filming it or showing up because it's like imagine you're just like driving around and running out of gas and then like you're in front of jack's film's house and it's like selfie like no, i'm kidding I'm, <laughs> I'm joking bro but man i did not think sniper wolf was gonna evolve to this level of breaking the law again i mean she's already been there twice and she's reached the mountaintop on YouTube. She's YouTube's dancing queen. And it's like, why would she jeopardize that for her little petty YouTube beef? Like, just get over it. You would think Sniper Wolf would want to maybe improve her content by like 10%, 20%. So then that way, Jack's films would get off her back. And then she would be making better content. Maybe reaching a higher ceiling of... Uh, I don't even know why I said that. Higher ceiling. She already gets 100 million views a video. My entire channel has 50 million views. And Sniper Wolf has double that on every video. Think about that. And right now... As I'm speaking right now, the audio is still playing, right? The fucking snotty-nosed kid is growing down. He's gonna comment, uh, she doesn't actually get 100 million views. Yeah, we understand that, dude. But Jax Films is 100% valid in calling for the ban of Sniper Wolf. Okay, number one, this is insane. Number two, YouTube hates this, all right? They actually do. It breaks, like, three to four different guidelines. And, dude, it's like, imagine that's you, right? Like, imagine you're watching the video and you're Jax Films and Sniper Wolf is, like, threatening you on Instagram. Like, they're about to bring pizza to your house and have a sleepover. Like, I'll be scared as shit. Shit, dude. So 100% Jax Films is valid in his frustrations with this and I would want Sniper Wolf off the platform too, dude. What she did to Jax Films is like extremely violating and you know what's insane? Her fans are actually defending her because of this. They think it's unjust and unruly to have the take of she should be banned. And in the comments of my last video on Sniper Wolf, people were posting Jax Films address. I had to delete like three to four comments that were just straight up his address. Why and how? How she has this loyal of a simp audience, it might be more than Twitch. I don't even know, dude. It's crazy. But yeah, it's just insane. Like, anyone outsider looking in who doesn't even know anything about YouTube, just like any normal person would see the situation and be like, this person should be in jail. Like, you can't just threaten someone online with showing up to their house. That's like genuinely insane. Sniper Wolf's ex husband is suing her and ran the channel. He claims that he wrote all the scripts and everything. So Sniper Wolf married this really, like, successful businessman who was 600 pounds named Sausage, and then, like, he's just suing her now. And it's, like, crazy.